I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading for Thursday, December 23rd, is the first chapter of Luke, verses 46b through 55. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arms. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. According to the promise he has made our ancestors to Abraham and to his descendants forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The word of the Lord. The continuing story. My great aunt Claudia died at age 101. For as long as I can remember, she made the best honey cookies and gave them as, a, as Christmas gifts to those she loved. In memory of her, one year I decided to bake honey cookies, and after I had posted a photo of the results on my Facebook page, my aunts told me our honey cookie recipe has been handed down from generation to generation. Our reading today reminds us that the story of Christ begins generations before his birth. God has helped his servant Israel, sings Mary, according to the promise he made to our ancestors. And the story continues to Abraham's descendants forever. We remember and share the birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. We know the story well, yet sometimes we forget that it's not just a story in the past. It continues now and will go on until Jesus comes again. Our prayer. Jesus, thank you for coming as a living story of God's love for the world. Help us to share this precious story from generation to generation. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.